Yeah, so Matthew 12, 37 is another text often quoted, right, to, to emphasize positive confession. Because it says this, for by your mouth, uh, for by your words, you will be justified and by your words, you will be condemned. So the teaching, again, of course, is that it's your words that will create either justification or condemnation. So even salvation, in a sense, is a result of your confession. And people pull even from Romans chapter 10, and that it's the confession of the mouth that creates the reality of salvation and stuff like that. But I look at that scripture later on. But here, yeah. Um, uh, does this does this establish a, a spiritual law of spoken words? And does this speak about the creative nature of our tongue? I, I don't believe so. I, I, I can't see it there. I see here in the text, I see Jesus having just spoken about blaspheming the Holy Spirit. This is where, if you back up to verse 31, it's about sinning against the Spirit. It's about, God, about blaspheming the Spirit. And then he com comes back and say, it's by your words. So words here are not necessarily just the words it's what you believe it's your life if you oppose uh, the the god's plan for your life and you and you your whole life is directed away from god to quench the spirit even to speak words that are blasphemous of course that will result in condemnation but it's not just the words. It's not an automatic process of just words creating the reality of condemnation or words creating the reality of justification. It, it, I mean, it's, 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 uh, it's not there. It's not what Jesus is really teaching. But Jesus, though, is really emphasizing that we will be judged for every word we speak. If you look at it, he says uh, that, that in verse 36, but I say to you that every idle word men may speak they will give an account of it in the day of judgment so there there is a, a very strong teaching here on holiness and that we are to use our words rightly we are to use our words that glorifies and honors god and and you know edifies god's people so i mean that kind of teaching makes words very very important but it's not uh within the the word of faith worldview that words themselves are cre a creative force uh th that's just not what jesus is saying